Maybe open? Open. Open. Tug, 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 tug. Yes. On July 17, 1983, Tammy Walsh dove into a pool and broke her neck. Considering that they told me I'd never walk and I'd probably never move from the neck down, I live on my own. I've had a really great life. In 2011, after 28 years of pushing herself around in a chair, her shoulders and back were giving her trouble. I couldn't bend down, and if I could bend down, I couldn't get back up because my back was so sore, so if I dropped something, I couldn't pick it up. Yes. Pulling open a door could be quite painful because I have two Girl. rotator cuff problems and a torn bicep tendon and scapula issues from pushing a chair and picking up my chair and throwing myself around. A friend told her about dog guides. She applied for the program and serendipity stepped in. I got Kiwi. Kiwi came into my life. And the funny thing is, is that Kiwi's birthday is July 17th. That's the date of my accident. And I wasn't supposed to get Kiwi. Kiwi was promised to somebody else. The weeks of training at the foundation headquarters taught the pair to work as a team safely. In one exercise, Tammy took Kiwi's perspective. And then you have other trainers coming up to you, saying different things to you. Sit, stand, come here, oh, you're so sweet. So you understand sort of kind of the brain of a dog and the dog has to completely and totally listen to its handler. So there's all these people yelling at you and you don't know what to do. So that teaches you what the dog may encounter when you're out in public with the dog. That was pretty mind blowing. Now, more than a decade later, Kiwi still helps Tammy all day long. You're in winter's shopping and you drop something. She's right there and she picks it up and gives it to you. Or if there's something that's a little further away and you can't get to it because of your chair, you ask the dog to fetch and the dog fetches and gives it to you. So again, it's sometimes the big things, but it's, it's mostly the, the little things that make a huge difference. She recalls a terrifying experience. While out on a dog walk, her chair slipped on ice and she got stuck in a snowbank in minus 37 degree weather. Kiwi went further and further afield and finally came back with help. So that man knew that Kiwi was a service dog and if he hadn't known that and if she hadn't gone off to get him, I probably would have froze to death because f by this time it was an almost an hour. And if you have a spinal cord injury, you can't regulate your body temperature. So you have a tendency to get overheated or you can get freezing very, very fast and get frostbite and I had the beginning of frostbite on my toes. Yeah. So she saved me from freezing to death. And that's happened twice. Tug. Tammy can't tug. imagine her tug. life tug. without Kiwi. Tug, tug, tug. Yes. For one, lonely. Good. She's a great companion. Two, I think, you make me cry again. I would have a hard time mitigating my disability every day. Every day is a new challenge, but with Kiwi, she takes that challenge away. She also makes me feel safer. There's been a number of times when I've been really sick, whether it's been the flu or whatever I've had. And she's literally alerted my neighbors that I was really sick and I couldn't get out of bed. So I don't think I would be as happy. I don't think I would be as safe as I am. She's brought back my independence that I was losing. I'd be lost without her. Push, push. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley. Good job. Good job.